Hello and welcome to our Delta analysis video. Today is Delta Frostless after yesterday's Delta Glalie. Um, Delta Frostless is a Delta Frostless is a fire type, while Mega Delta Frostless, Frostless gains the ghost type. Um, regular Fro Frostless is his base 110 speed, which is pretty fast. Decent offenses at, at both 80 and at 70 bulk across the board, which is overall not too bad. Um, Uh, anything special to say? Not really. It's it's just a fast attacker. It's generally better, especially because of the coverage it gets and the, and the speed it has and the things it can do with that speed. Um, then there's Mega Delta Frostless, uh, which has a lot more special attack and a lot more speed. Well, not a lot. It's just a bit more, a bit more speed. 120 speed. Oh, ooh, my bad. Uh, 120 speed and special attack, 105 speed def, a decent defense, now 2 attack still the same, HP still the same. So it becomes a way better special threat, which definitely helps with, the, uh, with its ability and the, and, the, and the moves it gets. So uh, going over to its moves, it... wait no, first abilities, abilities first. You get the competitive and flash fire, I forgot to say magic card, mega only. Mecha gets magic card. The competitive is actually very nice against like web teams or teams with a lot of intimidate. It can get the special attack boost from that, which is very good. Also, if it switches on like defogs, because this thing just get like if you've seen the Glee video, you know what this thing will get. So for defog, competitive is also pretty nice. And then there's flash fire, which boosts your fire type moves when you get hit by a fire. Type move yourself, um, and then magic card. You're immune to hazards like indirect damage. Uh, status doesn't damage you. Whether this weather damage, I don't think it. I don't know if weather damages you if you're mag magic card. I actually have no idea. Either way, you don't get ha hazard damage. You don't get uh, status damage. You might get weather damage, although I kind of doubt it. But I'm not sure to be honest. Um, because technically it is indirect damage, so it probably is immune to also like leech seed and things like that. Um, going now, going to the moves, it gets pretty much the same moves that Delta Glalie got, so we're just gonna go over them really quickly. Haze for removing setup, pain spot for some recovery, taunt to remove things from being annoying, spike self for hazard, knock off to remove items because that is very nice. Uh, Willow is Willow is to burn things, and the one thing it got that Mel, Me that Delta Glalie didn't get is Baton Pass. For uh, it doesn't really have any stat boosting. It can pass like realistically. It doesn't really get anything. It doesn't get Gold Mine. Doesn't get Nasty Plot. Doesn't get like Agility. It, it might get Flame Charge. Like Flame Charge is like the one thing it can Baton Pass. Uh, but in general, Baton Pass is just nice momentum, uh, and especially on like a choice set of Frostlash, you can just go for a Scarf Baton Pass, uh, it doesn't do any damage but it's still fast momentum which is pretty nice, like if you're gonna be locked and you're predicting your opponent's switch and you don't know exactly what, just Baton Pass, um, that's pretty nice, um, go to the first set which is similar to the first Glady set, it's just Hazard, but I think this thing can do is slightly better because it does have the speed to back it up and it has like okay that, that's fine never mind it has the speed to back it up uh it doesn't have the ha strong head smash that clearly does but it still can reach like lava, lava plume to potentially burn things don't knock haste paints but just standard uh utility moves that this thing learns and just the hazard it's a pretty fast spiker pretty fast stealth rocker um if things start to defog on you like if things try to default, you can switch this thing in, get both the competitive boost and you can get the rock the rocks and spikes back up, which is pretty nice for a hazard stack Pokemon. Um So yeah, that's just the basic gist of the first set. The second set is the mega set, uh slash just offensive regular set. Like you can run this with scarf, you can run this with 
specs you can run between Life Orb. Although I wouldn't recommend running Life Orb because you damage yourself. And like the main move on this thing is Eruption. Um, so, why do I like this thing a lot? Because I do like I do like the Mega a lot. Um, Magic Guard plus Eruption is kind of stupid. Like your base 120 speed which outspeed a lot of things. And then you just click base 120 Eruption. And like you can switch on Hazard. You don't take any damage. Status doesn't don't take any damage. Um, you just don't get chipped. And that's really nice for having Eruption. You don't get chipped. Uh, common priority, mark punch, quick attack, uh, fake out, you're immune to it. Uh, so like, it's just really nice. You just have a very safe, very strong eruption. And overall, like, I just like that a lot, to be honest. I really see the potential of this thing being like quite high. <clears throat> and I'm really waiting for some someone to use this very successfully. Um, so yeah. That's uh, Eruption, and there's also Shadow Ball, which is the other stab it gets. Uh, I put Earth Power there on like a, as like a locked move, but it really isn't a locked move. I think the first two are kind of locked, but the, f the third move could also be one of the moves below it. Like Baton Pass, Dazzling Gleam, Energy Ball, Dark Pulse, Weak, and Fire Stab, because if you get chipped, you might still want to have a Fire type move as a backup, like Fire Blast, uh, Lava Plume, Heat Wave, something like that. Um, and Dazzling Gleam hits the Dark types that you might not be able to hit that well. Energy Ball hits the Rock types, it hits the Water types. Uh, dark Pulse hits Psychic, although you have Shadow Ball. There's really no point to run Dark Pulse, I don't know why it's here. Uh, but yeah, there's Delta Frost Slash, Mega Delta Frost Slash. I like this Pokemon a lot. Um, I really like Offensive Eruption, because this thing has a lot of potential to hit really hard with Eruption. And I think the hazard stacking set is also quite good because it has competitive because it's so fast. Like it can easily, like it can get fast taunts or fast rocks, fast spikes. It's like a Greninja, It's like frail as hell, but it gets momentum, offensive pressure, and spikes and rocks even. So like, I really like its typing is a lot worse. Like I get that, but it's it it is what it is, and it's like it's in general I like it. It has a lot of potential and it's better than Glalie. Uh, and that's really all that matters. It's better than Glalie. Um, although the Mega is like arguably equal ish. And well, this thing has more like. Well, they both have a lot of direct power. Uh, so yeah. That's Frostlass. Uh, next up, I don't know. Like, I, is, it, is it Luxray? That's a popular Pokemon. That should get fused. <laughs> An ironic. But it's it's true though. Like that that's the sad part is true. But okay. See y'all then.